This is Airy TV. Dear viewers, welcome to English News Broadcast. I'm Barsa Betagle, and these are the major headlines for today. New maternity building in Karen Hospital. Assessment meeting of adult education program in Imnahayli. UN appeals for record funding to cope with global crisis. And mass shootings in the U.S. 2022 could be the second highest year. On your local report, new maternity building at Karen Hospital, constructed at a cost of 90 million nafa, has been inaugurated yesterday, 1st December. The new building includes 33 rooms equipped with modern facility of delivery, neonatal care, incubators, surgery and post-surgery, radiant warmers and laboratory, as well as 19 latrines and laboratory and two stores, indicating that the old rooms in the hospital have been creating inconvenience in the daily activities of the hospital. Dr. Yafet Haile Mikael, my medical director of the hospital, said that the new building will have significant contribution in alleviating the existed challenges. Speaking at the event, Ms. Amna Nur Hussein, Minister of Health, said that the objective for construction of the new building was to avoid the challenges that may occur during delivery and deaths of mothers and children, and commended Buddha Construction Company and partners for their contribution in the construction of the building. Dr. Henok Tahaye, head of the Ministry of Health branch in Ansabar region, on his part indicating that the new building will have significant contribution in easing the burden the hospital has been facing, called on the public to strengthen participation for its sustainability. The inauguration ceremony was attended by government and PFDG officials, religious leaders, members of the Ministry of Health, village elders and invited guests. On your last local report, the Office of the Ministry of Education branch in Imna Haile Subzone organized a meeting to review the progress of the 2022 and 23 adult education program, as well as on the implementation of the program for 2022 and 2023. According to the report presented by Mr. Salah Munar Aya, Supervisor of Adult Education in the Subzone, in the 2021 and 2022 academic year, out of the students that were registered to attend the program, 72% have successfully completed their education. Mr. Solomon noted that the two libraries that have been established to serve the adult education program have significantly contributed to the, success, uh, to the successful implementation of the program. Indicating that the progress of the program is so far encouraging, Mr. Merih Kiros, head of the education office and the subzone, called for the integrated effort on the part of area administrators and school directors for ensuring no one is left for attending the adult education program. Mr. Belay Nur Hussein, head of adult education program at the Ministry of Education branch in the southern region, on his part called on area administrators and areas that there are still some people not attending the program to prepare adult education centers and school directors to exert strong effort for the success of the teaching learning process. The viewers coming up will be international news after the short break. Welcome back. The United Nations Annual Global Humanitarian Overview estimates that 339 million people worldwide will need some form of emergency assistance next year, a staggering 65 million more people than the year estimated a year ago. If all the people in need of emergency assistance were in the country, were in one country, it would be the third largest nation in the world after China and India, the reports indicate. And the new estimate means that 1 in 23 people will need help in 2023 compared to 1 in 95 back in 2015. As the extreme events seen in 2022 spill into 2023, the UN described the humanitarian needs as shockingly high. The annual appeal by UN agencies and other humanitarian organizations said that providing aid to the 230 million most vulnerable people across 68 countries would require a record of 51.5 billion US dollars. That was from the 41 billion dollars request for 2022, although the sum has been revised up to around $50 billion during the year, was less than half of that sold for amount funded. 
On today's last report, according to data compiled by the Gun Violence Archive, this year is likely to be the second highest year for mass shootings in the United States on record. The Gun Violence Archive defines a mass shooting as one in which at least four people are shot, excluding the shooter. There were a total of 690 mass shootings in 2021. The United States is likely to soon surpass the total of 610 mass shootings in 2022, with more than a month left to 2022 to go. In the past week alone, mass shootings have claimed at least 24 lives and injured 37 others in gun rampages across seven states, according to the Gun Violence Archive. There have been more mass shootings than days so far in 2022, a trend that's continued each year since 2019, underscoring the growing prevalence of gun violence in American life. In 2022 so far, at least 3,179 people have been shot in mass shootings, resulting in 637 deaths and more than 2,500 people injured. You're still watching us on every TV. The viewers and now recap of today's major headlines. New maternity building in Karen Hospital. Assessment meeting of adult education program in Imnahayi. UN appeals for record funding to cope with the global crisis. And mass shootings in the US 2022 could be the second highest year. That was it for today. Thanks for watching and have a good one.